This is Robert, my Hi. boyfriend. Today I am with Robert. Hi. This is my boyfriend. I love you too. Robert has come to save Hi. the day. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. But look who's here. Robert. Robert. No, no, there's no hiding. There's no hiding. <laughs> Look at my boy setting up my lights. Bye! Bye and thank you! Love you! We love safe driving boyfriends for photos, don't we? Today I have a uh, boy, Adriana. I'm Adriana from a different dimension. Okay. <laughs> Look who I found! It's me. Actually, he I mean, tried I to find her me. <laughs> after she stood off in a distance and looked at me and said, I can see you. <laughs> Do you I haven't seen this person in two weeks. It mm, feels like two years, but... <laughs> general going on um, so stay posted for those Adriana and welcome back to my channel. We are getting married and I am very very excited. He asked me to marry him on Sunday May 24th and honestly it was perfect and awesome and it was like really low-key and just personal with just us which I loved and was especially important because of the state of the world right now um, but yeah so we're just gonna kind of tell you how the day went and what we did. It was just a relaxed weekend um, we were just hanging out watching TV staying at home um, we were watching Love is Blind which we really we really loved a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, Keeping an eye out for uh, 2021 for that season two. I am. They got to make more. They got to do it like in between. You know, while we're waiting for that recap episode of last season, let's start the next season up, baby. <laughs> I need more juice. I need more sauce. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leave me high and dry. We watched Love is Blind and we liked it, long story short. Um, and so we were watching a lot of that. We were just chatting with family, having a good day. It was really relaxed. But when I was packing to go to his house, I was like, let me throw this in there and this in my bag and that in my bag because I kind of had an idea that it had to happen this weekend. Um, I thought it was gonna happen Saturday and then I saw him come to my house to come pick me up and I was like, hmm, it is awfully late. And so the sunlight's gonna be gone pretty soon, which means that wouldn't work. Also, you are awfully casual, so that doesn't make sense either. And so it wasn't Saturday, but we went over to his house, had a great day, and then on Sunday, I was already packed just in case something happened, and then at around four, four, three-ish, whatever, he told me to get ready. And I was like, I don't know what I'm getting ready for, but okay, <laughs> I'll just go do my makeup and do my hair for nothing and so he had a he had he had me going for a, a loop but not too much of a loop so um got ready got really pretty i had my outfit picked out for a while now so i was prepared and then um, we both got ready and then i saw him get dressed and i'll show you guys the pictures i'll put them in here but he looked great <laughs> i i could not have picked the outfit better myself personally thank you um and i was like "Ooh, it's going down <laughs> and so um we got in the car and then we he took us to drive around winter park which is like this really pretty area in orlando they have a lot of really nice really expensive homes and so we were just in the car driving around winter park just looking at all the pretty houses and that was a fun time because we just love to look at houses in general we just think it's fun and i guess that 
that means we're old now but <laughs> um so that was a fun time and then he we stopped looking at houses and then he says okay i have to figure out a place that I have to go and I'm like oh what place you have to go huh <laughs> and so he pulls us up to a park and it was called Craft Azalea Gardens and it is this beautiful park in Winter Park um and it's it's really great because it kind of has like the best of both worlds with everything like you have this beautiful enchanted foresty looking area with these beautiful trees but then you have um the on the water kind of a look and like you could literally see people riding their jet skis on this lake and then they also had these beautiful grecian columns looking type thing so it was really pretty so we were, we were walking through the park and we walked all the way through and it was really pretty and then he starts walking back out and i was like oh so did we just walk through this really pretty park for no reason and then he was like oh i'm gonna stop in the bathroom and i was like is bathroom a code word? What does bathroom mean? And so he has me to hold his laptop and I'm like, the power I have. <laughs> I'm holding the laptop. I don't know what's on the laptop, but I'm holding it. And so um, he comes out of the bathroom and then he takes us back into the park and I'm like, this is happening. And so we walk back into the park and then he takes me to this spot where it is just all these beautiful trees with this beautiful moss and everything and the really tall trees too and it's this perfectly cleared out area with like no trees in it um and so we step up into there and right there he stops and then he takes out his laptop and gives me an earbud and puts in an earbud and then he opens his laptop and then he has a video that he made um and the song in the video is like the first the first song we had ever danced to together with um and it was a video of pictures and clips of just kind of like our relationship history so far and so i thought that was really sweet and it was really special and he did a great job thank you thank you i appreciate you're, you're it you're welcome <laughs> um and i almost cried but i did not and i like sucked the tears back into my eyeballs because i did not want to cry i mean it would have been fine if i cried but i did not want my makeup to run and all that anyways it was really sweet and then he puts it away and then as he's putting it away he puts it on the ground and i'm like wow he's already on the ground this is happening right now but then he gets back up and then says really nice things about me and us he said that i was really cool and that i'm like the coolest girl ever and all that stuff that was really it i just said you're really cool um and then i just proceeded to do what she'll say next <laughs> So fill in, fill in all the words around you're really cool. And then um, after that, he says my name, and then he gets down on one knee, and then asks me to marry him. And of course, I said yes. No, I mean yes. <laughs> <laughs> because if I did not say yes, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Um, however, he did make his- Oh, that'd be an interesting video though. <laughs> A big like, I said no. That would- My just... rejection story. <laughs> that is the kind of clickbait that YouTube is waiting for. But <laughs> however, his, when he posted on Facebook to like tell our family and friends that we were getting married, I wrote this like a long form caption <laughs> with like anecdotes and main ideas and all of the bullet points high school essay style <laughs> and then he said she said no <laughs> and so here we are to be fair on uh, on my instagram post i was i was actually yes serious on his instagram it, post which you guys can see he was sincere I however i was like really <laughs> but anyway i asked you if it was okay and you said yes <laughs> Yes, I did say yes. Um, but yes, so then he asked me and of course I said yes and then we were just like hugging and just embracing the moment and when, when he was asking me to marry him as he was talking to me, I felt a raindrop fall like literally right on the middle of my forehead and I was like, oh my god, no. And then I was like, I don't want him to rush but also suddenly I am very nervous <laughs> and thankfully it did not rain at all even though it looked like it was going to and everything went off without a hitch and so but now we're hitched so we're, we're not hitched we're getting <laughs> not hitched. Yet. yeah okay. we're getting we're getting hitched I don't actually know what the meaning of that is I just know that that's a wedding term you, you, uh, it's like a it's like a car hitch you got the the cup part and then the ball part and the like hook together is that you for real I don't know no. <laughs> I'm, but uh, that's my guess Okay, right. well I bought that. But what do you think it means? Okay. Let us know. We don't need to go there. <laughs> we don't. Anyways, so then after all the fun, like, ah, we're getting married, hugs and ring goes on the finger and all that. Um, we see the photographer and we're like, ah, hi, 
hi. And um, she comes out and she was so wonderful and so nice and so sweet. And she took really awesome photos of our proposal. And then we went off and took a little engagement shoot around the park, which was so special. And I truly cannot wait to see the rest of those photos because I'm stoked. <laughs> yeah, we're still waiting for the rest. She yeah, she gave us a bunch um, the night of, which was so awesome. So thank you so much to Kayla. But um, yes, our photographer was Kayla Tuckerman Photography. You can find her on Instagram and I'll link her in the description below. She was fabulous. Um, and we had a really awesome shoot. Like I felt like every time, okay, so you know how like sometimes when guys take photos, they do that cheesy smile where it's just like showing your teeth and it's like not very much emotion happening in the face. I think that's just a me thing, but yeah. It might just be you thing <laughs> but from what I've seen that that seems to be a consistent theme and so Robert is one of them who makes that face and so while he was taking these photos I could tell he was like actually smiling at me and I was like these are gonna be great <laughs> and so they were I, I mean I would hope it was a genuine smile considering you know the occasion considering it's almost impossible for me to fake it I think you have no other choice but to believe <laughs> that that was real yeah. it, it was but in case you didn't think so. <laughs> yeah. And so I was really excited about the photos and then I didn't really know it was after that. And so we took really awesome photos and then she was like, so what are you guys doing after this? And he's like, oh, I made reservations at the melting pot. And I was like, what? <laughs> you made what? Cause like, I know everything is really weird right now. And then like, I, some restaurants aren't even open. So I really didn't know what was going to happen after this. And it was so cool. Um, we made sure we walked in with our masks. Oh yeah, and we stuff had masks and, on and, and everything. Like even though it's a restaurant, like we walked in with our masks on. We even sat down with our masks on literally until the food came out. Mm -hmm. Every time we walked to the bathroom, we had our masks on and all that. Yeah, so. Um, and the park that we went to was literally practically empty. Like there was no one there, which was awesome because it was like a really private personal engagement like there wasn't yeah. any like awkward people watching or like people clapping and i just felt like that was good yeah. for us yeah. yeah i agree and then but what was great about the melting pot aside from like the food itself because i had never been there and he he'd been there once before yeah. um but it's really like an experience because you kind of like cook the food yourself in a way and so we got to like eat but also it's kind of a, a long process because you have to wait so you're waiting in between eating so it gives us time to like talk about all the details and all the secrets he hid from me <laughs> and all of the lies that were told oh my goodness. <laughs> and come clean about everything and enter this season with truth you know I and feel so <laughs> like I just need to go through and find every single text where you were just like, you're keeping secrets from me. And then just put some really intense music behind it. You might. <laughs> <laughs> I might need to see that. Um, and then like explain what every lie was, please. But. Oh, okay. I, wait. I, you okay. told me. You told me about For it. For the record, I never lied. I just misdirected a lot. He did. Yeah, so we went to the Melty Pot. It was an awesome experience. I actually loved the food. We both had a great time. Mm -hmm. I was afraid that I wasn't going to like the dessert because I'm not a chocolate gal. I'm like, just not a big fan of chocolate. But we had something called Cookie Butter Crunch mm -hmm. instead that was the fondue. So good. And I'm not like a big sweets gal, much more of a savory person. Fantastic. So it was an awesome experience. Plus, we get there and there weren't very many people in there at all. But literally maybe like 10 minutes into eating our dinner, we had the entire restaurant to ourselves like it was totally empty which was so awesome and i was just like treating our waiter like a queen because i'm just like thank you for being here yeah. thank you for making this special <laughs> like you are wonderful and it was really really great and then we went home and his mom was so sweet and got us a cake and it was exciting and happy and it was just a really fun time and then the, that night i got the photos and i was like squirming with joy like ah <laughs> um, and I'm sure it'll happen again when we get the next photos, but yeah, so it's been it's been a fun couple of days in the engaged life, I yeah. would say. Yeah, and when we were on our way back, we we made sure to FaceTime a bunch of friends and yeah. family that we weren't going to be able to see immediately that night. Um, if you want, you can always put up Sophie's reaction think... <laughs> since she's like well known on the channel. So yeah, that's actually a really good idea. So we, like you said, we FaceTimed a bunch of our friends because before we posted anything on social media, we wanted to make sure we told all of the people that were special and present in our lives, um, whether it be in person, like mom and dad, or over FaceTime um, for the people we really can't see. And that was so awesome because I was able to screenshot their reactions and we got so many good pictures of people. His favorite was Sophie and if you've been around my channel for a while, especially when I was on my Disney College program, um, Sophie was my roommate and she just had the cutest reaction. She was just like, ah! <laughs> And it was it was great. I'll plug them all in. You've probably seen them already. I've probably been playing them while I've been saying this, but 
yeah, it was really great. And so the secrets are out and we're getting married. And so let the bridal content begin. <laughs> yes. It is time. <laughs> the new season of this channel has arrived. I mean, we'll have we'll still have our regular our regular content, the college stuff, the Disney stuff, the universal stuff, whenever that opens. But but that bridal's gonna be fun. It's gonna be very fun. Yeah. So but also, not just about weddings. We love Robert. <laughs> and so well, thanks. Yeah. But yeah, that's our that's how he asked. That's our little engagement story. So that was pretty much our story. That is what happened this weekend. We were really excited and we'll be definitely be sharing um, a little bit of our process with the wedding planning and all that. We're just gonna kind of take the week to chill and just soak it all in. Honestly, like we were just having a conversation. I was like, oh, we should totally do a, I do my boyfriend's makeup video. And then I was like, wait a second you're not my boyfriend anymore yeah. <laughs> and so that was really fun to, to be like "Ooh, yeah and then today we went um to get lunch to go and he knew the guy who worked there and then he was like oh how are you he's like oh i actually just got engaged and i was like hey yeah. <laughs> so it's it's fun <laughs> sure enough he's on like the other side of the restaurant so i'm like screaming in the restaurant i and got I'm like, engaged <laughs> And so, yeah, that's kind of what's going on now. So we're just celebrating and just soaking it all in. And then I will begin my metamorphosis into Bridezilla. But like the best form of Bridezilla. So it's all good. I'm not mean. It's a, no, I, I'm I just, trust you. I'm a little crazy. Like I just <laughs> like things to be perfect. But you get that. So. I trust you. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So we're excited. We just wanted to let you guys know and just get you guys excited with us. Um, just to kind of go on this journey with us because... He's been on my channel for a long time now, and so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The the video I made her had a little, little montage of that, and wow, that's wild. Yeah. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for celebrating with us. Yeah. Thank if you, you are following on Instagram, you saw this first, and you'll probably continue to see things first. So make sure to go follow me over there. But yeah, thank you guys so much, and we will see you next time. See ya. <laughs>